I'm trying to bring up a generation of women that's good for the long term. That when a man meets you, he's like, oh, that's a wife. That's not no, that's not a girlfriend. That's not no long-term situation. That's not a woman I have a baby with and I move on from. This is somebody that I will marry. That's what I'm trying to raise up. Women with beauty and brains, women that exercise sexual integrity, women that have character and morality, women that are assets and not liabilities. That's what I'm trying to make popular. That's why I do what I do. And I see a lot of men being passed over by women all the time because women are only looking at this kind of guy and not necessarily seeing all the value in the men that are single in a are available that are here. And I think a lot of that has to do with the way society is. And that's why I'm so passionate about what I'm doing. family it's your girl samantha lee and i'm here to do yet another reaction video i love doing these so i decided i would do one that has gone quietly viral on my page about a short that i've done okay and so i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna play it and i'm gonna react to it in front of you guys <laughs> okay so we all have some fun today but before i get started i need you to go ahead if you've been Part, watching my content or if you like what you see when I'm posting or you reson it resonates with you or whatnot, go ahead and hit the subscriber button, okay? And hit the little bell because your girl is dropping content every single day, every day, y'all. So if you want to be a part and you want to get those notifications, hit the bell, hit the subscriber button. Let's become family. Get part of my game changer nation, baby, okay? Be a part of the fam. All right. This is the video I will be reacting to. All right. Um, this this should be fun. <laughs> okay, guys, y'all ready? Let me click it. It just sounds like just men always just want virgins that have hadn't had sex with anyone and are really good girls. Like you want younger women as well, so it's like that whole predator vibes. That's it. You're what if I said anyway. women are stupid, can't make money, short and weak because they want a guy that makes more money than them, taller than them, more confident, ambitious, etc. That would be ludicrous, wouldn't it? Because I'm demonizing what you want, but we don't do that with women, do we? We don't shame female preference. I think what's really, what I love about this video and what, about, what I love about what he do, does in this situation is that he real, that women, when we think about what men prefer, you know, and there's a certain level of, a, of young that we talking about, right? We're not talking about illegal. We're talking about legal age, legal consent age, legal age. If a man wants younger women, we do look at that like, oh, he wants to take advantage of her. Um, you want somebody pure, this and like it, it. We make it so it seems so unrealistic, but a lot of our own preferences as women are unrealistic, right? We. We are holding out for Mr. Perfect and we're not perfect. And so in this video, he's basically saying like, listen, you can come in here and say you prefer a tall guy. You can come in here and say you prefer a guy who makes more money. You can say a guy that is smart, intelligent, confident, all these different things. And that's not a reflection of your inadequacies. That's just, that's just who you desire. And I think that we spend too much time as women trying to shame men's preferences, right? There's men that are going to prefer different things. I'm not going to say every man wants the same thing, but we cannot spend or spin our wheels trying to argue with what someone prefers. It is what it is, right? Either we're it or we're not. And I think a lot of our issue for being real with ourselves is that we don't look like what they prefer. So our issue is really that we don't measure up to the standards that a lot of high value men or men that we desire, desire. That's not, we may not be who they're deciding to settle down with. And so we can't make them a bad person because they don't want us. That's immaturity. Just like a man who's, let's say I prefer taller men, a man who's shorter than me or, or, or shorter is he going to make me a bad person because I like taller men? 
No, that would sound, that would be crazy. That would sound crazy. But that's what we do to men a lot. We make what they prefer wrong. And I'm saying there's a certain level, like we're not talking about super young, where it's below the age of consent, it's an illegal situation. I'm not talking about that. But a lot of men prefer younger women. I think that's more normal than not. Let me keep the clip going. Let's go. Okay, when a woman says I want a man that's tall, makes money, etc., you go, girl. You deserve it. That's your preference. If I say I want a girl that's not a hoe, that has, a, you know, sexual temperance, that's considered oh, that's that's toxic and masculine and sexual. We demonize male preferences, but we don't demonize female preferences. Uh, it just sounds uh, like just men always just want virgin, is that? All right, family, I need you to go ahead and click the link in the pinned comment or in my description to get my free ebook right now. You'll be able to be added to my email list where you'll be provided with in-depth relationships, spirituality, life advice, revelations that I have, appearances that I may have. Be a part of this exclusive community that is growing rapidly, okay? All right, y'all, let's get back into it. So I'm not going to play it again, although it's easy to play. But um, I think that that's a very good point that at the end of the day, most men want women that exercise sexual temperance. There's some men that don't care. Right. But I would say most men care about women exercising some level of sexual integrity. And I think our culture has made it seem that, oh, it's not a big deal. Do what you want to do. Do how you feel. That's what men do. Men do it all the time. We should be able to do it if men are able to do it. And I, you are able to do it. But what I've always had an issue with in, in this movement is that we're trying to regulate how people see it. You can't change how someone sees something. You try to shame them into changing their perception of you. That doesn't work. We've seen it over and over again in history. That don't work. What it comes down to is we have to understand as, as women and as, as my personal belief system is women who are not, I don't think women were created to sleep around like men do. I just, I think we're created differently. I truly believe that. I, I don't think that we were created for this hookup culture that we're in right now. I mean, even, even the hormones that we release during intimate moments, like it's clear that we are meant to bond with people in that. And we can train ourselves to not do that. But is that healthy? No. I think that if we're being honest with ourselves, there's a certain level of sexual integrity that is, I think that that's love. That's, that's what's in our best interest as women period. Because we weren't, I do not believe we were created to just sleep around. I just don't think that just don't. And I think in this clip, him saying what he's saying, we can get mad about it. But if he wants a woman who's more pure, and that seems to be common rhetoric, then we have to say, okay, if this is what most men, and I would even say high value men, the men that we desire, the men that women, most women want to be with, don't want to be with women that have been with a lot of men. Typically, I'm not saying all men. I'm not, I'm not saying that's every case, but I'm saying that in most cases, that's the truth. And we can argue that down to the ground if we want to, but he still don't want you. We can, we can, we can argue till Sunday if you want to, but that person still doesn't want you. And so I, I, I use my platform and I, I want this to be, um, clear is that I understand the pressures that women face. I do. Cause I'm a woman. I understand them. And I understand that you see what most women getting with most women that we see that maybe out there, maybe have they bodies out doing this that, and the third and, you know, having questionable careers and things of that nature. We see those women with the men that we desire and we think, okay, well, if that's the way to do it, if I see that woman doing it that way to get him, then that must mean that that's the way to go. 
And so you see a lot of women following that trend because that's what we see. And I'm trying to put a line in the sand and say, no, yes, these men are hooking up with these women. And yes, they may be in relationships with these women, but they are not marrying them. Not long, long term wifey material. This is good for the right now. I'm, I'm trying to bring up a generation of women that's good for the long term. That when a man meets you, he's like, oh, that's a wife. That's not no, that's not a girlfriend. That's not no long-term situation. That's not a woman I have a baby with and I move on from. This is somebody that I will marry. That's what I'm trying to raise up. Women with beauty and brains, women that exercise sexual integrity, women that have character and morality, women that are assets and not liabilities. That's what I'm trying to make popular. That's why I do what I do. And I see a lot of men being passed over by women all the time because women are only looking at this kind of guy and not necessarily seeing all the value in the men that are single in a, are available that are here. And I think a lot of that has to do with the way society is. And that's why I'm so passionate about what I'm doing. That's why I'm so passionate about what I'm doing. Because I think that if we can kind of fix a lot of these different, where we're missing the mark on both sides, I think that we can really have less, less single parent households, honestly. If we can change our mentality, if we can be more self-aware, if we can um, just see each other's perspective and not trying to argue or shame the other party for what they want. But, OK, if I want that kind of guy, then I got to I got to play that game. And if I don't want that kind of guy or if I want to say the same, then I got to change, change gears. I got to go elsewhere. Can't shame that man for him not wanting me. I just got to say, well, if that man don't want me. Then I've got to. Find somebody else that that is al aligned with how I want to conduct myself or who I am as a woman. And that's that. I think the shaming thing is where we go left, y'all. I, I think that that's what I don't like is that in this clip, she started off shaming him for his preferences. And that's what we see a lot in society. And I think that there's a level, right? I think that there's a level of where at times when a woman is so, so young and a man is, is, is so much older, it can look bad. Right. But I'm not, I think that at the end of the day, if it's two consenting adults that are making decisions and who are we to judge that? Everybody has the right to choose. And if that's their choice and they're making it clear minded, then who are we to judge their choices, right? Hey guys, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button, y'all. Let's not just be every once in a while. Let's become family, okay? Friends that are family, <laughs> okay? Join my family today.